Coach, your program has a ton of positive momentum going into this season. What's the move been like for this team? You know, the guys have fed off of our finish and, and uh, just the different things we've been able to do programmatically, you know, from the six conference wins, which hadn't been done in a long time, over 20 years, you know, to a top 25 finish, to winning uh, our third of four bowl games, beating a rival three out of four times, having seven players drafted, which is a school record. There's a lot of really good things happening. I think that's always huge for a program to, to end the year off on a good note. We, you know, we had a lot of leaders and a lot of really good players leave our team. I think they left us in a really good spot. Um, I think we have a, a lot of experience coming back and just excited to get started. It's got to be great for you, though, also having a quarterback like Ryan Finley coming back. Great receiving core led by Jacoby Myers. What are your thoughts on the offense? Ryan's smart, uh, cares a lot about his teammates, knows where to put the football, hard on himself. You know, so it has all the things that you want, you know, intangible wise, and then he just has great timing and grasp of our offensive system. And then he's got a great receiving core, you know, Kelvin Harmon, Steph Lewis, Jacoby Myers, as you mentioned, you know, those three guys give him a lot of opportunity out there. They are the best uh, trio of our series in the country, that's for sure. Kelvin and Steph, I think, are the leaders of that room, and, um, and they work. At times, we got to pull them back. If those guys are pretty unbelievable, um, really special talents. He had some losses in the running game. Who are some guys that we can expect to step up there? Reggie Glaspie returns for his fourth year, and so excited for Reggie as a senior. And, uh, and then we have some young guys. We redshirted a young man named Makia Robinson. He had a good spring game. And then we signed Ricky Person and Trent Penix, and we expect both those guys to get a lot of reps in fall camps. What have you seen from the defense so far? What can we expect from them? Darian Roseboro has been a very productive player, and Darius Bryant's been a very productive player. We need James Smith Williams and Shug Frazier to, to come on now in their new roles. And, and then there's competition behind them. So we'll have some new faces, but we do have good experience back. Jermaine Pratt, you know, I expect to be one of the better players in the conference. Uh, at Will Linebacker for us. Uh, and then in the secondary, all of our safeties are back. Uh, Nick McLeod's back at one of our corner spots. We'll have a new face at, at the other corner, and that's going to be a competition for fall camp. What's the sense of urgency like around this program to not just compete in the Atlantic, but to win the Atlantic? I think uh, no, no underachievement allowed. We need to finish games. I think we've, since I've been here the last two years, we just haven't finished games. And I need to get better at the end of games. Everyone needs to get better at the end of games. Well, that's what we want to do every year is up the standard, you know. I mean, we know what we did last year. We know how hard it was to do it. We know how close we were to doing more. And so you want to learn from those wins and losses, you know. Here's how we got that done, here's how we beat Louisville, here's how we beat Florida State, and here's how we didn't beat these teams, you know, and learn from it and, and try to be better going into this, uh, this season. And that's all they are, is opportunities to teach off of now. And you try to make yourself one more than you were the year before.